Well, welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We have the latest results from Micron Technologies. This is the business story. Behind one stock on the move, I'm Futurum's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. Micron earnings, second quarter earnings, come out after a few years of a brief but brutal slump in semiconductor sales. PC sales uh, took a post-COVID dive. Smartphone sales, particularly in China, were having a rough time, an extended slump. But Micron results right now with this quarter are telling us that the semiconductor slump is over. Micron reporting first uh, fiscal second quarter earnings, and they were good. Wall Street just looks at a beat or a miss, and yeah, this was a beat, but we want to dig deeper into the business here and talk about what happened, why this was a beat. Here's what the business did, the actual numbers. Micron technology sales up 58% year over year, $5.82 billion. Profits, $763 million in the quarter. 58% revenue growth on a year over year basis. Has the worm turned for Micron? Yeah, the worm has turned. This thing is doing uh, really well all of a sudden, a real momentum in their business. When you take a deeper look uh, beyond those headline numbers, DRAM is the big business here. That's because it's an industry standard. Customers can order DRAM from Micron or from Samsung or from SK Hynix, a couple of other little players as well. So if customers are low on supply, they order from everyone, which creates sudden gluts in the industry. Prices can fall dramatically. Prices swing a lot in this industry in DRAM, and we can see from the results right here that the glut is over. Not only is, is demand up, prices are up. Micro, Micron said ASPs, average selling prices, were up 18%. So yeah, DRAM is back big time for this company. 53% a year over year increase in DRAM revenues. You just strip that out of the rest of their business. And as I mentioned, ASPs higher in DRAM, an 18% increase. NAND flash, flash member, 15.5% increase in the prices they're charging. So really strong quarter for this company. How's the stock react? How do you think the stock's gonna react? It goes straight up. I think in a quarter it was up, uh, for, for and after I was trading, it was up about 15% when I last looked. Real strong move, a stock that was basically flat for the last year. Now the rebound in DRAM is not just hope for a slow increase in PCs and smartphones. They say that's happening, but this might be about AI and data center. Shocker, right? AI systems uh, typically rely on a special kind of memory called high bandwidth memory, HBM for short, and the limited avail availability of HBM, of high bandwidth memory, for companies like Micron lets them set higher prices, which is what we're seeing. So the big question in today's conference call was, what's the DRAM look like, uh, the demand look like for high bandwidth memory, HBM demand? Here's what Micron CEO Sanjay Mahotra had to say about HBM demand. We are sold out for our calendar year 24 uh, supply and our calendar year 25 supply is also uh, mostly, vast majority is uh, already allocated. Uh, we, are, uh, we have just begun production shipments and these will continue to increase through the course of calendar year 24 as well as continue to increase through calendar year 25. Uh, we are continuing to work on increasing our capacity and making good progress uh, with respect to capacity as well as overall yield and uh, quality. So certainly, uh, you know, in uh, calendar year 25 versus calendar year 24, given that we are just starting our production here now, will certainly be a significant growth over our uh, calendar year 24 uh, numbers and you can look at it same way for fiscal 24 versus 25. So it will be definitely a significant increase with us. So super bullish on HBM highs bandwidth memory DRAM demand for Micron and others. What's it all mean? What's our big earnings takeaway? And what's one number you want to know about? It's going to tell us a whole lot about Micron. We'll have that right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. 
Your drill down earnings takeaway on the latest quarter from Micron. It was a very strong quarter for this company. $5.82 billion in revenues, up an amazing 58% on a year-over-year basis. The company was profitable for a change. DRAM prices are going higher. NAND flash prices are going higher, driven by increased demand for PCs, smartphones, and AI data centers. And I promise you to bite one number that tells us a whole lot. Micron is a drama queen and a DRAM queen. When things swing in their direction, they swing big time. What we saw was 71% of their business, and it's usually about 70% of the business is DRAM, but when DRAM's working, everything's working for Micron. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Quick earnings takes on Instagram and on TikTok at Drill Down Pod. Robust earnings reports on YouTube at Futurum Group. Check those out, about five minutes. Robust information about this quarter from Micron. And follow me at X at Corey TV. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.